So in this video, we'll figure out whether iron 2 carbonate, that's FeCO3, is soluble or insoluble in water. There's three ways we can do that. First, we could have memorized the solubility rules. So as we go down our solubility rules, most carbonates are insoluble. So here's our CO3. This is the carbonate ion, CO3 2 minus. That should be insoluble. There are some exceptions. Group 1 on the periodic table, those elements, or if you have the ammonium ion, that would be soluble. But we don't see iron here. Iron's a transition metal, so iron 2 carbonate should be insoluble in water according to our rules. We could also use a solubility chart to figure this out. So here's our chart. We look at the positive ions, and here's iron 2 right here. And across the top, here's this carbonate, CO3 2 minus. So we go over and down, and we see with that I there. That means it's insoluble. This won't dissolve in water. You can put the solid crystals in, and they'll just sink to the bottom. Note that a very small amount will likely dissolve in water, but it's such a small amount, we consider the compound to be insoluble. Note that it's iron 2, that Fe2+, plus. we see the carbonate ion, that's always 2 minus. So iron, that has to be 2 plus there for this to be a neutral compound. There is one last way we could figure out whether FeCO3 is soluble or insoluble in water, and that's just put some of it in water and see what happens. Based on the chart here and based on the solubility rules, we would expect that it would be insoluble in water. So in answer to our question, iron 2 carbonate, insoluble in water. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.